Today we're headed down to San Juan Capistrano to see the mission and explore the surrounding area. It should be a lot of fun, it's a beautiful day. Just got off the train here in San Juan Capistrano, what a beautiful day. We're gonna head over towards the mission and explore the seventh out of 21 missions that were made in California back in the 17 and 1800s. We'll see you there. And look at this little gem I just discovered. It's the, the Los Rios Cottages. What a cool little place. I've, I've lived down here for 50 years and never knew this existed. I just came out of the cottage gallery. This is just a quaint, beautiful little shop. All kinds of neat ideas for Christmas presents if you don't have any. You definitely need to come and check this place out. This is just a hidden alley down here with tea shops quaint little hideaway restaurants, all kind of boutiques. You wouldn't believe how much there is to see down here. Beautiful home. I noticed you're putting the bags out. What are those for? These are luminarias. So it's a custom to light up a street, especially in downtown San Juan. We have an annual Christmas uh, tree lighting party. So it's a brown bag with some sand and a little uh, tea, tea light. Candle? A little tea light. And it's yeah. a Christmas tradition. It's the Christmas tradition. Right. This okay. is the oldest residential street in California. It dates back to 1776. And how old is your home? Our house is 137 years old. Oh, it's older than me. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these beautiful old grapevines. Speaking of grapes, there is some history of grape growing down here in the valley. And there are several wine bars where you can go in and sample some of the local wines and get some information from the people that work there. I'm here at the historic El Adobe restaurant in San Juan Capistrano. About to have, just looks like a, a gorgeous meal. Boy, there's a lot to see here in San Juan Capistrano. Well, we've made our main stop. Let's go inside and check out the mission. Pretty amazing that this place was built in 1776 and it's largely adobe construction. Very impressive that it's lasted this long. These were uncovered in the 1930s. They're called tallow pots. This is where they took the animal renderings and cooked them down and they made candles and soap and other useful items like that. You just imagine how things have progressed in a couple hundred years. These people grew the food, dried it, canned it, stored it, and fed themselves. The only thing we know how to dry today is weed. <laughs> so this is the mission, we're on the inside. And as I mentioned earlier, in 1812, they had an earthquake that almost destroyed the whole thing. Over here are some of the ruins of the original cathedral and 40 people died in the church that morning when the earthquake hit. And after then, it kind of got in disrepair and was neglected until 1910, when the whole area of San Juan Capistrano was rejuvenated and turned into a tourist center. And if you come down today, you'll see that they've done quite a job. It's a magnificent place to see. There is so much to see in San Juan Capistrano. It's not just the mission streets and streets of gift shops, boutiques, small little hidden restaurants. Just a super fun place to go.